Hi, uh, this is a little a little tiny mini lecture on intonation, which is otherwise known as temperament. This is fine tuning for harmonicas. So there's a, a myriad of different types of temperament. I'm going to use these three here, and this is, like I said, I'm not really an expert. I'm learning this stuff. Here's an expert, Kenya Pollard, harp smith. You can Google him. He's on the David Barrett Blues harmonica.com and he's their tuning man so I think he probably knows a lot about it and I've just recently bought one of these tuners uh, oh here it is there is the exact thing and I'm trying to learn a little bit more about tuning myself um, I'll just quickly show you how this thing works you pull out the say you wanted to tune hole 1 and hole 4 and check that they are an octave or two and three maybe so you can see roughly how that works so he's very much involved in that <clears throat> and I imagine he's a man who knows what he's talking about let's just quickly look at this then so equal 12 tone equal temperament Zero zero zero. That means everything is exactly on. If it's for, if it's set for four forty or four forty one, that that um, he's calibrated it to four four two to four four four. Can you see that that line there? Sorry, it's um, upside down here and back to front. It's a bit difficult. So that's what you need to calibrate it to. And these, there's no offset. It means it's just perfect tuning. And that's great if you want to play tunes, but the problem is, if you want to play chords, then this is a better system. Just intonation is a better system. Now look at these massive offsets. Look at this. Minus 27. That's, that's 27 cents flat. That's a quarter, more than a quarter of a tone flat. And so all of the, that's, that's five, isn't it? That's F. Five draw F, and there's another F up there. So, so all the Fs are quarter tone flat to make the chord sound better. And then all of the um, hole one, hole two, right, hole two, all of the E notes, two blow, and all the E notes are minus 14, so 14 cents flat. So it's, it's a huge difference. Um, if you just take these red ones, if you look at that, so that's minus 27 there for the just intonation, zero for the equal, and then a compromise is in the middle. So the compromise tuning is the middle ground. Just intonation is for playing chords. If you play a lot of second position blues, like pre-war blues, all the all the um, Sonny Terry, Sonny Boy Williamson, uh, Little Walter, and especially earlier, Sonny Boy the first, and all the chord players, first and second position predominantly, will use this. This is the pre-war tuning, as as I understand it. I think I'm right. So someone like Joe Felisco would probably use this exclusively, because he's not really a tune player. He'll play chords, melodies within that, Cajun music, country music, um, all chordal stuff. If you don't play any chords at all, like probably someone like Howard Levy, who doesn't play much in the way of chords, or you're a, a tune player predominantly, this tuning is going to suit you better. Golden Melody is tuned to this, as I believe is Lee Oscar not, um, Richter tuned, I believe is that. Uh, personally, I like to do both. I like to play melodies, and I don't want, if I'm playing a melody, I do not want my F to be a quarter of a tone flat. It's going to sound terrible. I can cope with it being a little bit flat but not much more than that. But I also like to play the chords. So I tend to go for this compromise tuning. So I'm going to show you the difference in sound now, just in case you don't believe me. So I'm going to use a Sunny Boys Special. That's the equal temperament. These are from sunnyboysmusicstore.co.uk. Um, I have an interest in that, so I can send you one. <laughs> right, so that's the... Um, 
tune instrument, let's call it. Uh, the classic here is the compromise tuning. So that's the one in the middle, compromise tuned. And the out and out bluesy one is the mojo. Um, Sonny Boy's mojo. There you go. So let's listen to the chords. Here's a nice sounding chord, I think. It's very clean, there's not much beating. Here's the opposite end of the spectrum. Ooh, that's gonna fall off. So this is this is the equal temperament tuning, which has great for melodies but terrible for chords. Can you hear it all fighting? So equal temperament and just intonation. The compromise is somewhere in the middle. So does that give you an idea of the difference? I don't know if you want to go into any um, more details. Here's, I'll play this F, five draw, which is going to be flat on here and natural on here. And the compromise one will be in the middle if it's tuned correctly. So does that give you an idea? So whole one will be the same always. Whatever the tuning is, one, four, seven, and ten are just the same, whatever you do with them. And it's mainly whole five and eight that gets really flat when you breathe in, intentionally, as we've said, to make the chords sound better, to reduce the beating. So if you're a blues chord player, then the mojo is the one you want, which is just intonation. If you're a tune player and you don't do any of that chord stuff, the Sunny Boy Special is the one that will suit you better, suit your style of playing better. It just sounds sweeter, it works better. And if, like me, you like doing all of those things on the harmonica, you like doing just playing loads of different types of music, then the classic is the compromise tuning, and that is what I would tend to go for, compromise tuning. Hope that explains it a little bit. If you want any more information, you can contact me or message me, or come and see me at sunnyboysmusicstore.co.uk. Thank you for listening, and good day.